Hey guys, what's up? So, if you've been watching my previous videos, you know that I've kind of been getting into 3D printing, and I started messing with SolidWorks and uh, Fusion 360, Autodesk, AutoCAD, or whatever. And um, so, one of the things that bothered me from from the get go with uh, the Fusion 360 is the whole to do the orbit, you know, to move the the, the part around, you have to press the shift key and the uh, middle button, mouse button, and I didn't like that. I didn't like having to take my hand off the, off the mouse and have to bend over to reach the keyboard. So I was actually looking on uh, looking around, and I got this mouse last night. And I looked at actually a couple different mice, and I wanted some programmable buttons that I could use, especially this red button right here. Uh, so I wanted to just be able to actually make this the orbit button. So if I wanted to orbit the part, I could just press that button and orbit. And also, I didn't really like the I don't like the, the middle click. I don't like using the, the middle click for the mouse button. So um, I programmed, uh, I'll show you that in a second, but I programmed this button right here as the uh, middle button, just so it's a lot easier on my finger than having to go up and push down on it. But um, all right, let me, uh, I'll come back. I'm going to show you the, I'm going to open the box up so you can take a look at it real quick. All right, all right guys, there it is. All right, let's see. So that's the button I'm talking about right there. So. Let's open this up. Try to do this one hand. Let's take a look at this thing real quick. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to use one hand here. All right. All right. Hopefully, it came with a long cord. It's been a while since I've had a corded mouse, but it's not a big deal. Actually, what's funny, just a couple of years ago, I, I upgraded that wireless mouse I have now, but in the past, I always preferred wireless mouse because I didn't like all the batteries. Um, all right, so what do you get? Here we go. So that's the mouse right there. Hopefully, this will be the perfect Fusion 360 mouse. So... That's the button right there I'm talking about. So all the headache is for that button right there. So I'm hoping that button will be the orbit button. So this will be uh, zoom in, zoom out, and uh, hold, move. And then if I want to orbit, I just basically I'm going to hit this button and orbit. You know, spin around and orbit the button. But all right, so I'm going to go back to the computer and I'm going to create a macro for this thing, and hopefully I can get it uh, get it going, get it to move, orbit, get that program to orbit. Shift plus mouse, you know, middle uh, mouse click there. So, all right. All right, so uh, let me show you the software real quick. So it's pretty easy to figure out. I mean, I haven't done it 100% the way I want it, but it's it's a software that comes with the uh, with a mouse. And it's, uh, you know, you can actually totally custom. This is how I custom mapped in my hair. So the DPI up, what I did is if you look at this, I made it the middle mouse button. So that little button right there on this thing right here is the actual, uh, I'll show you that in a second in Fusion 360 how I move it around. But right now, the, the, this, uh, the sniper button, they call it, it's, it's a gaming mouse, and it's like a sniper button. Um, I have this set up as a right shift, the shift key, but I was actually working with some custom macros last night, and I kind of got it working, and uh, but it's not 100% yet. It might take me like a week to figure that out. So, kind of busy with work too. So, but even just now, just having this thing as just a shift button, I can just hold down. I can hold down the sniper button and this DPI switch button, and it's basically I can orbit that way. So I can just hold down two buttons at the same time. So, um, definitely makes it easier. So let me go back into Fusion 360 real quick, and I'll uh, show you what I'm talking about. So right now. I still have the zoom in, zoom out with um, the uh, the mouse wheel, and then I also have the uh, the DPI button. I can move it around. Yeah, it's equivalent to the uh, it's the middle button, and then I also have the shift shift button, which is the cyber button, and then also DPI. I can move this around. All right, but let me show you that real quick so you can see that I'm not BSing you here. So that's the, this is the uh, DPI button. I'm gonna hold down on that. Well, if I can, <laughs> can we go back over Fusion 360 here. 
Where's the mouse? Oh, there we go. Hold down the DPI button. See? I'm not holding the center mouse wheel. And then to zoom, I'm going to hit down the uh, shift and then DPI button. That's, and that's orbit. So I don't have to sit there and take my hand off anymore and hit, press the keyboard. I can just kind of lean back and do everything with my, just my hand. So I can just quickly go boom, like my hand's on me on the keyboard, and just do that. So, And then also just move it around, zoom in and out, all without having to get my hand off the keyboard there. So, yeah, for some reason, my finger doesn't, I don't, I don't know if it just makes me uncomfortable or what it does, but I don't like having to push down this mouse wheel. It really bugs me. I feel like I never, it never feels stable. So that's why actually why I wanted the different uh, function with the DPI button. So, I mean, it's actually, it's a quarter mouse, so, and it's super high resolution. So it's, it's a really, really nice mouse. It's weighted. There's some weights in the back of it. So it's a super, super nice mouse, and it's also all aluminum construction, too. So it's a super, super well-built mouse. And it was only uh, 30 bucks on Amazon. So it comes black, white. But uh, I, I just thought I was looking for a cool mouse that I could just use with the you know CAD and and different programs. So what the cool thing is I can also program them for different applications too. So like I can actually base it on, a, on an application. So I could probably create like a custom profile for, for SolidWorks. But um, right now I'm just really focusing on learning Fusion 360. But like I said, as soon as I, I saw that shift plus the metal button, it, it bugged me. So I was immediately trying to find a solution for that. But all right, guys, hopefully this helps somebody or gives somebody some ideas. Cool mouse. Awesome.